Hi. Um, hi, I'm Pastor Nelson. Uh, to my YouTube friends, I, I want to apologize. I didn't really preach a traditional sermon. We actually had uh, a time where we were in prayer and listening to some, some awesome news from Africa and Kenya. Um, and so we're, we're here because we believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, just let me share, with this, share this with you real quickly. Romans 3.23 says, All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. If you think you're not a sinner, you're mistaken. We're all sinners. Okay, every single one of us. I don't care how nice of a person you are, we all sin. And that's the bad news. And, and the result of that, Romans 6.23 says, The wages of sin is death. So we're all dying. We're, and we're all on our way to hell, except for the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Bible tells us that unless a man is born again, he cannot even see the kingdom of God. And unless a man is born of the spirit and the water, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. You need to accept the Holy Spirit into your heart, which is the spirit. And you need to accept the word of God that says, you're a sinner, you need a savior, and there's only one name in which we can be saved, the name of Jesus Christ. Now, for those of you who have already done that, you're Christians already, okay, I would like to ask you to do this. Pray for the United States. Pray for this church. Pray for your church. Pray for your family. Lord, we need a revival in America. Uh, I believe that God is shaking up America. I believe that's why our political landscape has been so unsettled, is because I believe God is shaking America at its core. And I believe that God is shining the light into the dark places in America. And I want us to pray that, that the Holy Spirit will cleanse this nation, that there will be revival upon this country like never before, because I know that my God is able to redeem our nation. And the word of God says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. So we want the Lord to be Lord of the United States of America and every country in the world. And that's why we believe in missions. That's why we believe in preaching the gospel. And so we just encourage the Christians to be praying that God would move across our planet. For those of you who may not know Jesus Christ, I would just like to pray a simple prayer with you. And if you pray this prayer in faith, the Bible tells us that you become born again. So let's just pray with me and say something like this. Dear Jesus, I admit I'm a sinner. My life is a mess and I need you to save me. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Make me a new creation. Pour your spirit into my spirit. Seal me for the day of salvation and be the Lord and God of my life. I ask that you would forgive me of my sins and cleanse me from my iniquities and that you would remove them from me as far as the east is from the west. And I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, the Bible says you've been born again. This is your spiritual birthday. And my exhortation to you is find a good Bible preaching church. One that teaches about Jesus Christ, that uses the Bible as their text, and just join that church and grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. For that, I, I'm so excited. And for my brothers and sisters, I can't wait to see what God does with our prayers. So God bless you, and may God's Spirit be with you, and may God give you favor in whatever you do. In Jesus' name, amen.